today we're in the garage um a lot of you guys probably want to know how to really advance you um, so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give y'all a little tutorial on how I learned how I went from this gonna be easy it's gonna be a challenge but one thing you should know is never give up don't let the falls don't let the oh you a worm don't let none of that shit discourage you or break your spirit on becoming the best you could be ever all right guys we're in the garage now this is me explaining safety first safety first i cannot stress that enough so i want to tell you first Helmet, make sure you guys wear a helmet and put the <laughs> on your head. Please put them on your head. Please, please, helmet. Next thing is, you want to make sure you have a good brake system. Make sure your brakes work. Because the way you're trying to go up, you could come down very bad. Very, very, very bad. So make sure you got good brakes. Good brakes. Also, a safe location. Don't be going on the street. And just be trying to learn a willy, hit somebody's car, and just don't do it. Just go to a park, go to an area where it's just like you, nothing else. And you learn, you practice, you get your weight up, you're going to believe me, you're going to easy. Also, make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes. Can't stress that enough, because a lot of people, they try to go and learn the willy in, on boots, like wearing boots. And you gotta understand that boots have a stronger grip when they touch concrete. That's why I like eyes. So if it's raining or snowing outside, you're not gonna wear sneakers outside with no grip on it. You understand? You're gonna wear boots. Boots grab snow, concrete, wet surfaces, metal, all that. Very good. So imagine William and you go to touch the bar. 12 o'clock, you touch the bar and then your boot grabs the concrete. What you think is gonna happen? Your boot is gonna go with the concrete and you're gonna fall off the bike. So shoes is very important, especially learning. Like if you're experienced, nah, I could say, yeah, you're riding any sneakers, all right, that's your comfort. You know not to let your boots or your bad shoes or whatever touch the concrete, you know that. So this is for the people that's learning. So make sure that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're wearing comfortable sneakers. And then also, where you put your foot on the bar, right? The bar is here. The ground is here. Your boot should always, your shoe, your shoe, sorry, not your boot. Your shoe should always be on top. You shouldn't try to have it folded because if it's folded like this, your shoe is gonna touch the concrete, gonna go with the concrete. You gotta remember that for 12 o'clock. That's why a lot of people fall. A lot of people fall. You don't fall because you bad. You fall because you're wearing the wrong shoes or you didn't have your foot com uh, positioned well or whatever the case may be, right? Make sure you have a good willy bar too. Make sure, I don't care if it's aluminum, stainless steel, titanium, metal, I don't care what it is. Just make sure it's sturdy. Make sure it's sturdy. Now, <clears throat> get comfortable with your bike. Your comfort level matters. So if you have, um, if you're a speed demon and like go fast and stuff like that, maybe you shouldn't learn the way. Maybe you think, cause you're gonna be aggressive on a throttle. Learn to baby your throttle. Learn the, what keeps your bike on. Learn 
okay, if I let it slow down like this, I, it shuts off. And this is for any bike. This is for a Banshee. This is for a four-wheeler, a four-stroke, or whatever. Just make sure you know the level that keeps your bike on. In the RPMs, I should say, that keeps your bike on in first, in second, and third. Now, the higher you up, the, the more gas you got to give it. So it's more RPM. Cool. So learning throttle pressure, applying the throttle, that's what that's about. So you basically, how you hit it in second gear, you don't want to hit it like that at first. Because it's going to be more responsive. How I learned was I did fourth and third gear. So if I was rolling, like riding my bike along the road, I'd be in fourth gear and pop it up and the bike would not be that aggressive. So I would slow down to a very small, slow pace like how I'd be riding in first gear and then I'd pop it, brake, pop it, brake, pop it, brake, just to see where it come. So I'm like, all right, now it's not coming up far enough in fourth. Let me go to third and do the same pressure, the same pressure, pop it. Oh, it's coming up further now. Pop it, brake, pop it, brake. So until I learned my balance point, when I realized, all right, this is where I want the bike to be, but I don't want it to go further back. I'm scared, I'm nervous. I don't want it to go down, because I want a willy, I want it up. But I want to be able to ride comfortable. All right, cool, third gear, all right, cool. So now I started popping in third gear, right? Um, and you gotta remember brakes. Always remember your brakes. Always, please, 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 please remember your brakes. Now, I go through this debate with people, and I hear people go through this debate a lot about standing and sitting down. Standing and sitting down. For me, my comfort, I could not sit down for nothing. My comfort was standing up. I had to position myself properly. Make sure my foot, my sneaker was always above the bar so that way if it touched, cool. Then my brake foot, I had to remember, apply a little pressure with the center of the brake, just a little bit. You don't want no hard pressure. You want a little bit of pressure on the, on peg. Not on the brake, on the peg. So, you know my foot is supposed to stay here. If I'ma get hurt, or if I feel like I'm going to thing and I want to touch that brake, push my foot forward, push my foot forward. Like driving a car, push your foot forward, push your foot forward. Now some people is going to be heavy on the, on the foot than others, but that's okay. You're going to learn and remember your, your brakes is going to start wearing into how you ride and how you apply them. So if you're hard, if you press them hard, they're going to wear out for you to be able to, you know, apply the brake like that. Mm, that's fine, but standing and sitting, right? I couldn't sit for shit. I couldn't sit for nothing. So I decided one day I was just like, yo, let me try to sit down. But this was like five months, four or five months into my standing up willies. Like I was standing up willies trying to do tricks and all that. And I was, I was all right. I was doing good. But standing up was way more easier for me. It was just like, night and day so i learned standing up right so that brings us to the third it's popping and balance basically the same so um i want to say here right that I, I drew don't don't laugh at my four wheels don't laugh at my four wheels my four wheels are saucy okay i'm not an artist but i'm an artist so I, with the bike on the floor, right? You wanna give it gas. When it's at this location, you wanna give it clutch. Pop clutch always. You don't have to, but you're learning. This is the level that you pop clutch. Once you release the clutch, if you're still learning and you're nervous, you can always pop the clutch grab the clutch back just to see where the bike go. So no matter what your body does, 
you're not if you give it too much gas or thing you know you're holding it in the clutch that's another thing like you if you pop the bike and you release the clutch and you give it too much gas it's gonna always come out you can always grab the clutch back I don't know how stiff your clutch is maybe you don't have stop springs or whatever it might be harder for you to grab it back but that's always an option it's always something to keep in your head if I grab if I grab the clutch the bike can't go no more the only thing I could do with this bike is break break to come down break to come down cool so at this level you want to give it gas right and I think this is the most to least oh. right so when I pop it here I want to hear I'm, I'm on a bench I want to hear and then once I've given it gas here you give it more not more but you give it the most here you give it more here and then you give it a little here right and then when the bike about to start coming to 12 that's when you want to start to try to apply your brake this is after you learning to really already this is learning to pop the load the places you want to be that break i cannot stress that enough because if you do not hit that break look what comes after that bike go tumbling this is the ground this is the ground here you really bought them bent if you have a bad willy ball or soft willy ball you really bought them can't save you no more you're not safe you're not safe you're going to the hospital the hospital nobody wants to go to the hospital that is the last thing you want especially you got covid you don't want to go to the hospital right here so what it is is this is just my little chart before actually showing you on the bike I just want you to know the safety your comfort matters you have to be comfortable you have to be comfortable don't sit there and watch oh because this guy is the, they're comfortable they're comfortable the way they ride it's, it's perfectly fine you're gonna get there you are going to get there and when you fall or if you fall I do not want you to fall but if you fall never let that break your spirit it happened to a lot of us and a lot of people are scared to show them falling. I'll show you me falling. God I fell. I fell a lot of time. I got a lot of bad body parts that I was supposed to have surgery for. Just off of other things bikes other things and it's just like whatever like you know what i mean like you're gonna be bike life and this is what you choose to do and keep yourself out of troubles out of other things that you could have been doing then i respect it but i'm telling you brakes is important and also the tune of your bike now when i started i know for me it was a year ago for me I had FMF pipes on my bike and I used to try to pop that bike so much, so much, so much and the bike would not pop and I'm like why? My bike wasn't tuned for those pipes. Cool. I ordered me some T5s for my Banshee. I got the T5s. I put the T5s on and I changed the jets um, and I tuned my bike myself. Like not even just like playing around with it. I want to hear it crispy. Clean. That's all I wanted to hear. I also went on YouTube, and I think I lift, looked at um, with the sinking and all that. I looked at Southwest Tech's Banshee dude, whatever. Watch this with the whole sinking and some some sink carb thing he had, and I honestly didn't have that at the time. So I just watched it with my eyes to make sure that they level. And when I touched the throttle, both carbs was coming at the same time and coming down and up at the same time so I watched that from there I put my pipes on and no lie I went from popping my bike one day to the next day I could get four five six seven eight cars in one day And 
I was like, oh, ah, well, I couldn't do this with my FMF bike. So also a good tune on your bike is really thin because if your bike is dead and it's just not going up, you're just feeding it gas and you're just asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble. Don't ask for trouble. Ask for help. Fix your bike. Make sure your brakes work. Make sure your bike rides how it's supposed to ride. Don't go out there trying to willy some junky bike and say I'm trying to learn on a junky bike. Uh, get me wrong, you can get nice on it as long as you know how to ride that bike. Um, yeah, and that's it, really. So once you learn, pop in the clutch, giving it the most amount of gas, or pop, pop, pop you tap. When you at these places, you give it the most gas, you give it more gas, not, not more than the most, but <laughs> like, you know, the lower level. All right, so the most, let's say like three quarters of the throttle. And then this would be like half of the throttle. And this is a, a quarter of pressure. Of pressure to the throttle. So you don't give it the whole throttle. Starting off at in fourth gear. Remember we land riding? Go slow. Like maybe like four or five miles an hour. Just rolling like walking pace basically. And pop it. The bike don't come up. You just keep trying to pop it. Keep trying to pop it. And I get the bike is not gonna pop. You're gonna always pop it the same way. Give it the same amount of gas. The same way you hitting that throttle with that thumb. Hit it the same way in fourth gear. Then you're gonna come to third. All right, the bike is gonna come up more now. Now you're gonna feel the bike being more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sh so then you should be willing in the third, because then it's once you get to there and you tap the brake and then you get to that balance point, you start learning balance. Between here and here is balance. Balance is basically somewhat different for everybody. And that's what I had to calculate in my head. Just because one person balance, it's in the same area where the bike needs to be, but just because one person balance right here doesn't mean that your balance is not right here. Your balance could be right here because you could weigh more. If you weigh more, if your weight ratio to the bike Rate, weight ratio is heavy in the front here and you're heavy here your balance may be right here if the person is light the bike might be here and their balance might be here that might be their balance so everybody's balance is different that's what I've seen like watching people but enough of this we're gonna start doing we're gonna get the GoPros and everything set up on the bike and I'll meet you guys outside so this is my bike, 2002 Yamaha Banshee. This is what I'm gonna be teaching y'all on. This is what the angle that y'all gonna see is gonna come from this GoPro Max 360. I also got my friend Nose here. So safety first, helmet, gloves, comfortable sneakers, spoke about that. Good willy ball. And just know, slow up the bike, turn the neutral, keep your bike warm up, do everything you gotta do. So now, you get to riding, right? What you really wanna do is test your brakes. I'm at a location that nobody's in this location. This location is safe for other people. I create the danger in this location. Brilliant. I create this danger. So what I want you to do is, I'm in first, second, third, fourth. Now I'm doing about seven, seven miles an hour. Put your foot on it, on the ball. 
are coming up, that is. Now, what you also gotta realize, right? With William, you have to realize that. Turn around here. Yeah. You have to realize that by keeping your knee in the seat. See, the bike was gonna cut off. It's not at the RPM. I'm in fourth gear, fourth. So you need to keep it moving at a specific moment. But you're gonna keep it. It's not coming up, you see? But my knee in the seat is helping push the bike down. I'm fighting the bike, the gravity of the bike, and I'm pushing it back down. What I want to do is keep my foot straight while I'm popping the bike. Yes, keep it in the street. See, it's not coming up. It's not coming up. Because I'm going so slow and I'm barely getting the pressure. But also, you got to remember that if your clutch is fresh and you got a nice clutch, it's going to pop harder than a clutch that's worn in already. So now I'm going to drop it to third. Right? And I'm going to do the same thing. See it come up higher now? Came up higher. Same pop. Came up higher. So I'm popping it. And right now, you need to keep your foot on the brake. But right now, I'm so used to popping it this way that I'm not even touching the brake. But still, you want to... See? Pop it, pop it. Pop it, brake. You just want to get that fear out of it. That fear, that fear, that fear, fear, fear is hard. Pop it. See? Now, that's the same way. I'm pop I popped it the same way in four. Let me show you again. Four. It's not coming up. See? Break. Third now. Once you see that it's coming up to that level that you want it to be at in third gear or fourth, whatever it is, that's what you keep pressing. Give it more gas break. And you don't have to stop. Don't worry about, oh, I'm not going far enough. I'm not going far enough. No. Worry about popping, popping, popping. Helmet, gloves, check if your back brakes work, everything. You know that your bike is running okay. Ride your bike a little bit. Know how your bike is going. First gear, second gear. So let it slow down. It's okay to let it slow down. And know that if I'm going this slow while I'm wheeling, the bike stays on. If I'm going this slow in second gear, look, it stays on. But if I tap that brake a little bit, that's it. It's gonna shut off. If you have to understand that, William, you're gonna come to the balance point. You're gonna hit balance and you're gonna tap that brake and the bike is not moving fast enough to stay on. So in a case like that, you have to clutch in so that way the bike stays on or drop a gear. Just go down. So if you're in on a four stroke, I know a lot of you guys go to first gear, William. Um, on a two stroke, I really don't recommend going the thing. There we go. See? We have him popping it, keeping it up, balance, doing his thing, doing his thing. Came a long way. I like that. Came a long way. See? And that's another thing. Stop speed, William. Learn to slow it down. Bike flush, round, pop, 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 pop. Practice popping it, pop, pop. Once you get it to balance point, you're gonna have a challenging time with going either too far back and you gotta hit the brake or not being 
up enough when you gotta give it more gas. Don't do that. Don't chase your wheelie. Do not do that. You're gonna hurt yourself because the bike is gonna go into power band on a banshee or something, and it's unpredictable, and you do not wanna hurt yourself. I stress, do not do that. So, here we go. Start the bike. First, second, third. My foot is always by the brake. I'm going slow. Brake. Remember, my foot is in the seat for the pop only. So, clutch in. about right here and that's for my weight I know a lot of people are lighter and their balance is further back the lighter you are the, your balance is further back the heavier you are it's the weight your weight is right in the front of the bike's weight for gravity all right that's good get it back and slow down you want to be straight your body is straight like all right the best explanation i could give you is think of it like a k see how the letter k is like this like i'm a, basically it's the back half of the letter k and then it's like this pay attention to just the top half of the k right this is your body you want your body to be straight that leg that's this is on the ball you want it to be straight Right? And you want the bike to be hit. So it's like your weight is pushing the bike back. Now, pushing it down, and then the gas is helping also bring it up to help you push it back down. And then the brake is helping well, to push it back up. And then the brake is helping to push it back down. The brake is when you brake. Gas, brake. But your body should be straight. I see a lot of people put their knees in the seat and they don't understand by if you're like this and the bike is like this, right? And you put your knee in the seat like this, you push it more away. Look how you look how the top half of my body now. This is my body. This is the top half of my body. This is the bike. This is the bottom of the bike here. Look at how I push this here. All my weight is pushing forward now. Now I gotta give it more gas. Now I gotta chase the wheelie. Don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna show you. Now I'm in second. After you played around in third and you, you know you got comfortable and you learn balance, then you can do it. You got the bike come up instantly. No problem now. No problem. I'm not, I, I gave it less gas to pop it up. Let's go. Then you can start playing around, but I would not. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. that was bad. That was, that was bad. But you really like this. Right? And you're gonna practice. You're gonna practice, 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 you're gonna practice. And you're gonna get better. But I can't stress enough. Learn how to slow your bike down. Learn how to slow your bike down. See? From me. See, look, wait, wait, I stay right here. Wait, I stay right here. Oh, wait. It's just wait. All it is is wait. The bike's weight versus my weight. Now look, see, it came too far back. I took my foot off. You're not supposed to take your foot off, but I'm not moving. I'm not going in. Okay? It's your weight. Wait. That's what it is. So, you want the bike's weight ratio and your weight ratio to be even. Now, I'm going to go into drifting. Now, a lot of people 
they go to the left a lot, they go to the right. And that has to do with your weight as well. So now with your weight, you have to understand that both your tires, you're gonna put air in your tires. You don't want them hard like balloons. You want them soft. You want them to be bouncy when you wheelie it. Because the softer the tire, you don't want it too soft, but the softer the tire, when you put the weight down, it sinks into the tire. So it helps the tire even fatten out a little more to hug the ground some more. It's always best, right? So now, I'm just explaining to them about drifting. Yes, I'm talking to real people right now. <laughs> it's speaking into existence because people are going to be watching. So now, if you're drifting to the left, right? And let's say your body, you put your body all the way to the right and your bike still is going to the left. That means you don't have enough air in the left. You either put air in the left or you let out air from the right, depending on how much air is in your back tires, right? So, so it's either, if you drift into the right, you do the same thing, go left, Yo, what's going on, my guy? So if you're going to the right, that means you don't have enough air in the right. You gotta go to the left. You gotta let out air out the left. Or just add air in the right. And learn the balance, because when you keep your body to this side, and then also, too, if you don't have a lot of air in your tires, it helps with turning. So if you want to make a right or lean to the right, if you have a little bit of, not a little bit, but like a, like let's say a 60% air, 65, maybe 70% air in your tire, your weight helps you lean this way when you push your body this way. So it'll help you turn because you're putting all your weight on this side. You understand? Then if you want to go this way, you lean your body that way. I'm going to show you that. Second gear, standing up. Feet is in the seat, but when I pop it and I get it up there, I'm gonna straighten my whole body and my feet. But now watch this, right? If I lean this way, look at the bike going that way. If I lean this way, the bike is coming this way. Now. And that's all on the air, the air ratio of my bike. And that's with leaning, that's with leaning. I'm gonna teach you all of that, like, Everything in one. So with leaning, uh, so with leaning, that's the fact that less air in your tires help you lean, which is cool, All right? Um, what else do I have to go over? Um, I just say practice, man. Like practice, practice, practice. The more you learn popping it up tapping the brake popping it up tapping the brake popping it up you're gonna it's not gonna come overnight well for me it kind of did but i was determined like that day that evening i said oh i'm seeing i watch how everybody is balanced that's when i started paying attention to the balance stuff i'm like i see how everybody is and then they balancing and then they don't have to touch the brake at all they're just giving it gas their body is doing all these wonderful tricks and stuff like that how I can't just really. So I just started popping it just exactly how I explained it to y'all. And from learning that, I was able to say, all right, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. And then think, yo! I guess he's leaving. So I wanted him to show y'all, uh, you know? I wanted to give him a few tips or whatever. I guess he will. So, um, yeah, so you pop it, pop it, pop it. Then the next day when I came out, I just left it in fourth gear and popped it, popped it, popped it, popped it. Then next thing you know, like maybe two hours later, I dropped it to third gear, popped it. I'm doing one car. I'm like, oh, wow. Two car. I'm still nervous. I'm nervous to go back. I'm nervous to fall, but I'm standing. I've never sat down. Standing, 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 standing. So then, um, the third time, I mean, after I get like three, four, five cars now in third gear, it started to get like butter, like easy. Like, 
it was just like, oh, okay, yeah, all right, this is where I want to be. But then I would have like complications because I ride on the road, so I would always get nervous with people in front of me. That's why it's important to be in an area that's just you. It's important, it's very important. Because if you're around other people and they're making you drop all the time, you're not gonna be able to get comfortable and say, yes, I could do one whole block willing. You're not gonna be comfortable because every two seconds, somebody's cutting in front of you, they riding high, you're gonna have to think for those other people. You're not thinking for just yourself. You don't wanna hurt yourself. You don't wanna hurt nobody else. So that's why you gotta think about stuff like that. You gotta think about things before it's happening. Somebody could just cut in front of you, then it just be bad. Just be 100% bad. But um, after, you'll be doing and forth and stuff like that sitting down you have to practice the gear lower so you're gonna practice in third um popping it if you're sitting down you understand third gear is where you want to keep practicing um not fourth fourth you're gonna have to chase it too much even third you got to chase it but it's not a bad like yeah i'm chasing it it's a more like all right, I have to feed it a little bit more gas because my weight is right here. I need to get it to the point where my weight matters. And then once your weight matters, you keep your body straight. You bring your body in closer to the bike. You don't like it's upper part of your body so that way you can center it. So if your back wheels is here, basically, and your plastics are safe, the whole bike is right here. You want to bring your body up to where it's right here. So it's like you and the bike become one so the bike is like this, your body is like this. While you're sitting down, it become one and you're putting all that weight on them softer back tires. The weight is gonna help the tire push out. And with the weight pushing out the tire, you're gonna get better balance because it's more surface to cover. Basically it. So every day I used to come out only on the weekends and practice I gave it a little I gave it a little too much gas there but that was second so basically what I'm feeling myself do is I'm popping it gas letting go of the throttle and once I let go of the throttle I stop giving it gas, but I give it one little small tap again because it's putting me where I need to be, that balance point. That's what I'm feeling on this bike. For you, it might be different. You might have a brand new clutch in your bike, 
you might pop it and already be at balance point. You gotta tap the brake, tap the brake, tap the brake. Remember, brake, 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 brake. Safety first. So look, I'm still. Oh, oh, tap. Then you're gonna be doing tricks. Like that. Alright, it's easy. Just keep practicing it and that's it. You got it. You got it. Alright, is there. I'm trying to see if there's something else that I need to go over. I know I went over balance. Nova brakes, for safety, comfortable shoes, good running bike, learning how to ride your bike. I think that's the most important. Like, just don't buy a bike today and say, yes, I'm gonna go wheelie it today. No. Ride that bike for a week, two weeks. Ride it for four or five days. Understand that every bike is not gonna respond the same. I get on this bike, even when you know how to willy, even when you just learn how to willy, you could have four banshees side by side and you may pop yours in second gear. You may have to pop somebody else's in third gear. Ride the bike, understand the bike, understand how the bike is responding to what you're doing. You understand? And when you understand that, then it'll just be like, Okay, the bike is gonna do this, bike is gonna do that. Uh, all right, and that's good. Another thing why I always keep my finger over the clutch is because I, with my bike, I got a cheap throttle cable. I was supposed to have been change it, I didn't change it. And it hangs sometimes, it's just stiff. It's just bad throttle. I went over it, but I'm gonna buy one. But you have to understand that if you could wheelie your bike or just learning how to wheelie your bike, I'm not gonna talk for the professionals, but if you're just learning how to wheelie your bike and you know that, all right, yeah, I could pop my bike in second gear. All right, I'm good. You might jump on my bike and not be able to pop it in second gear because that throttle might just hang on you and you don't know what to do. You're gonna panic like, ah. No, you have to understand that you clutch in and you give it as much gas as you want. The bike may blow up depending on what you're doing, but the bike is not gonna go nowhere once the clutch is engaged. Once you have the clutch, once you're holding the clutch and this is adjusted correctly, the bike is not gonna go nowhere. You're holding it, you can rev it, rev it, rev it, rev it. All you want is not gonna go nowhere until you release it or come off of it a little bit. That's when it's gonna go somewhere. You have to understand that when it's in gear. In neutral, you could play with this all you want, it's not gonna happen. But the minute you put it in gear, first, second, third, Fourth, all these things, they become less responsive when you're still and you're in higher gears, they become less responsive. But still, at the end of the day, it can be dangerous. So just understand safety first. And that's all. Straight leg, straight leg, foot straight, so hold it in here. Our body senses so that way the weight could be even on both sides. And that can be dangerous right here. But you're learning, you're gonna get it, don't worry. You'll be playing in traffic soon. And, and you see this? Gravel? See all that gravel and shit on the floor? That can be dangerous for when you pop in a bike. Understand that. Do not practice willying with all this gravel on the floor. You see all of this? Little rock chips? Watch. Watch. I tried to pop it. You see my back tires just... My back tires just went the opposite way. 